Yesterday's message was strong. It was powerful and it was something which the community needed. There are many doubts and many questions where the ecosystem Multiverse X, the project itself, is heading. Yesterday, Ben Minku shared some ideas. He shared some ideas or some thoughts about what he thinks is going to happen, where blockchain with AI, with metaverse, with NFTs is heading and what he expects to happen and what the community can expect from the project, from the team to stay relevant and to thrive in the future in this new present, which is already almost here. Now, Benjamin Minku started with the fundamentals, even though the whole message of the video was that they are done with the undercover building, they are ready to come to the surface and to show to the world what they built. The fundamentals are the most critical and crucial part of being successful, with which obviously we can agree. He mentioned the explorer, the wallet, the exportal app, the exchange, the DeFi section, and obviously the mainnet, which is the power of everything, along with eGold, which is obviously the native token. He also mentioned that if everybody would want to buy eGold, having 8 billion people in the world, only 0.0039 eGold would each person have, hence the scarcity of Multiverse X native token. The fun part, something which we were expecting, something which we were looking forward to or we were hoping that they will talk about is obviously the growth, hence the name Hyper Growth. They said that they are done with, uh, with building undercover and they are ready to come to the surface and to show to the world what they have done and how they want to move forward. Obviously, this is aggressive marketing strategy, global tours of the team to go everywhere where there is any crypto event to show themselves and to show the project and the features and the products they have. And obviously, international businesses to be onboarded so they can adapt the blockchain, so they can adapt Multiverse X ecosystem and to use all the profitability, all the upside and gain what blockchain has to offer to them. Obviously, we already seen the start of this. We have seen some influencers already mentioning uh, eGold. We have seen other influencers uh, interviewing Benjamin Minku, like Scott Maker, Wolf of Wall Street. We have seen that the team is organizing multiple hackathons and they are going to multiple crypto events, which is available or where they can appear. And of course, makes sense. I'm talking about Consensus, for example, in Austin, Texas, which is the biggest blockchain conference maybe in the world. But this doesn't stop here and they don't stop with the global tour. Benny mentioned they are going to Seoul, South Korea, in Dubai, in Milan, Italy and in many other places. You can see them on the map right here. Now, if you ask me, I think this is twofold the marketing strategy and the global tour. Because usually on a global tour, they become visible to other builders, to other big projects, to other potential partners or to officials who want to use and implement blockchain in their country. However, onboarding only builders is not enough. There is a paradox here, because if there are not enough community members, then obviously builders will not join and will not build on the Multiverse X for the simple fact that there are no people to buy up their token, there are no people to invest in their project. Therefore, I think that the combination of the global tour with the aggressive marketing, which involves influencers opening their own podcast and being open to any influencer who wants to interview them, as you could see just recently, Lucian Toda was on EGOT community. It is a good combination in order to onboard builders and potential investors, because that is the most important to have these two in balance. If one of these is in excess, then probably the excess will just disappear. If it's about projects, if there are too many projects for the community, these projects will, will search for other communities on other blockchains. Obviously, if there are too many people but not enough projects for them, so the blockchain or the ecosystem becomes boring and uh, no new opportunities to invest in and make money, they will obviously will search for projects on other blockchain. Therefore, the approach to raise these two at the same time is crucial, it's very important, and I can see that they are aware of this, therefore they are attacking this problem from two sides as it should be. The third pillar is opening to the community. It's asking for help from the community. And I think it's something which we welcome. It's something which we wanted to see, and it's something which we want to be involved with. Because Benny Minko said that they can only reach their goals if the community is behind them. And that is very true. We are the ones who can help them, and we are the ones who must be the loudest in the crypto space. 
because without a community, without a loud and positive and engaging, encouraging community, no project will survive. At any time, an investor, big or small, a VC company, a builder, a project wants to join a new blockchain, the first thing they check is the community. If they can see that the community is very unhappy, they will not join that ecosystem. Because everybody knows that the price of the token will go up and down. The tech behind is much more important. The market, the sentiment, the overall sentiment and the money flowing in and out has direct effect on the token. Therefore, if the tech is good and they already want to join, the first thing which they are going to check is the community sentiment. Are they supportive or are they demanding? That is very important. Because if the tech is good, and the community is positive, and they can see that this crowd of people, big or small, is welcoming, it's helpful, and wants to grow and to push the project forward because they have faith in the project, they have faith in the team, well, you cannot send a better message to a new investor or to a new builder. Benjamin's message was to be positive, be constructive. If you see something which is not right, then you should raise it, you should say it out loud, but be considerate. The way you are saying things obviously has an effect on the community, has an effect on everybody. And I just want to add here my opinion that in these times in bear market, when prices are low and uh, we don't see the pump, we don't see the excitement, and when we don't have that euphoria from the green candles, it is much easier to push people in the negative thinking than to raise them up to be positive and to boost morale. Therefore, it is very important for everybody to be constructive. If you have questions, ask those questions. You can write them on Twitter. As long as you are respectful and as long as you are trying to help and not to create FUD, I am sure that somebody will want to help you out or the team will try to correct what needs to be corrected. Therefore, Benny Minku said that they are open for community questions. They will hold MAAs every two months for the community. They will have uh, NFT MAAs for builders each month. They will have town hall meetings for builders each month. And anybody who wants to organize something in their city, which is about Multiverse X, let them know because they will try to help you. If it's feasible and makes sense, obviously, this is my two cents, they will also send a team member. That's what he said. Therefore, if you are in a bigger city and you want to bring awareness to Multiverse X, you want to organize a marathon or you want to organize a pub crawl or, or whatever you want to do, maybe a brainstorming, maybe a chess tournament or whatever you are into and you want, you want Multiverse X to be part of it because you want to generate awareness of Multiverse X, the team is open for suggestion and for requirements in which way they can help you to organize this event. So yeah, let's start organizing stuff. Let's be open. Let's be the loudest community in the crypto ecosystem because that's how we push the project. In the next couple of videos, I will try to dissect one by one what is going to happen with the mainnet, what is going to happen with the exportal, with the marketing, what are the plans, because there are so many things to cover that it is impossible to say it all in one video. Therefore, thank you very much for watching these videos about these topics are going to start to roll in starting next week. So stay tuned, press the subscribe button, maybe the notification bell, just to make sure that you don't miss any of the videos. And I see you in the next one. Take care.